All right. This is a 1990 Wellcraft Monaco, 30 feet. And there's no name on the back, so whatever you want to name it, you can name it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at the exterior real quick before we take a step in, onto the deck. Now it's 1990, so we're going to experience some a little bit of chipping in these paint lines, but the gel coat is in great shape. Um, you see that everything's intact. We have the anchor. And I just had this new bimini top made recently. Um, it looks to me that there used to be some sort of a uh, cover right around here. Now that's long gone and I sanded everything down and prepped it for paint but uh, never did get around to it. You can see that the radar arm and the flagpole are both in need of repair as well. These lights worked whenever I bought it and then I had to take the radar arm off to replace the dual engines which you can see in the photos um, in the video um, and whenever I put it back together the lights didn't work so um, you can access the wiring through either here or here and go ahead and fix that I'm just uh, a little bit overwhelmed with pro projects as you can see there's these nice snap-in deck rugs um, underneath everything is looking sharp it's just a little bit of water because I just rinsed her off um, here we have the cockpit just for fun we're gonna go ahead and see how easy it is to hear these motors crank up two bad boys off um, probably could use a new throttle these are pretty sticky um, these are the trim buttons and that that console could probably go ahead and be replaced got our bilge which works great we don't have any water to, for me to show you now lights turn on it's daytime kind of hard to do compass works um, depth finder needs to be replaced I do have this piece of rug, um, just like this. I just must have put it somewhere real special. This piece goes right back up there uh, whenever the time comes. And you can see here, what happens is over time, this foam just kind of disintegrates inside. So that's uh, not all that complicated of a fix for an upholster. As you can see, everything's in pretty great shape here. And then right here, a center post goes and I have a teak table that goes there so you can just imagine sitting out on your deck enjoying the night a nice day on the water or at the marina um, enjoying your breakfast lunch dinner cocktails however you want to go I, uh, I use this little guy right right here to pull out right here and I uh, have myself a little, nice little romantic Plane. all right so going down to the cabin this is the center table this is the teak table that i was just telling you about um, back here we have the aft cabin otherwise known as the spare bedroom or the storage room it's actually pretty cozy in here i've had some guests back here it's been great for storage um I've really enjoyed it. Here we have the bathroom. I have replaced this toilet, um, but that was about as far as it got because I don't really know much more beyond that. And yeah, uh, you know, whenever I'm hooked up to water, the water does run. Everything works out all right. Kind of tight in there, but you know, you can get the job done once you get everything sorted out. A little bit of simple storage. Nice little wrap around couch. Here is where that table goes and it slides in and slides out. 
nice little workstation or eating station. The refrigerator does work. Um, here we have our kitchenette. There used to be an alcohol stove here that got removed and just, you know, put a little tile piece on top. Um, I've had no problem just running off of this electric kettle and the microwave whenever I need to cook. Keep it on going. Um, I like to use that, that light for reading. Here's our birth. Very nice and uh, comfortable, actually. I get some of my best night's sleep ever out here. So, not too terribly large, but just the right size. Um, I am five foot 11 and I'm about an inch and a half off the ceiling. Um, I've had no problems. Um, I've never had to crouch or anything to that effect. Let's see, overhead lights, um, lavatory accessories, cabin lights, uh, B birth lights. Oh, I guess I need to replace a bulb. Water pump, I don't know if you can hear that, but the water pumps work. Refrigerator turns on, the stereo needs to be replaced, um, outlets work, you know. All in all, as a liveaboard, it's great. Um, and then refer to what I have uh, being taught. Oh, the, uh, the air conditioning and heating works wonderfully. Okay, turn it on. All right, now I know that I can't tell you temperature in the cold and it takes a little bit for everything to kind of cool down, but it works great. Whenever it's on the hottest of summer days, it'll freeze you out. It is wonderful. All right, well, thank you for the tour. Uh, thanks for coming with me. I hope that you like what you see and uh, give me a holler if it's something that you'd be interested in. The, it's located in Carolina Beach, right across the bridge. That's the air conditioner uh, running because it's liquid cooled. And uh, yeah, I've had a wonderful time with this boat and I hope that it goes to somebody else that'll just bring it that extra little bit home. All right, thanks guys.